Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. I've never cooked before. We're going to check it out. We have a couple of pork hocks. We're going to cook these in two different ways. Um, I like sauerkraut. The rest of my family doesn't. So it's going to be slightly different uh, recipes. We'll see how they turn out. See uh, which one we like better. And that doesn't actually have any skin or fat left on it. Okay. These are from a, a pig that we uh, had ordered, uh, I don't know, a few months back. And it's the first time pulling out the ham hocks, so we uh, don't actually know what their uh, butcher processes are or nothing. We haven't ordered from these people before. Uh, so far, it's been really good. We've really enjoyed it. And there isn't. There is no, no skin, no fat left. Well, a bit of fat left on them, but really no skin or anything. So, I guess we won't be going for the crispy skin idea. Um, that's what I was kind of hoping to go for. So, we will just start with seasoning them. We have a seasoning here that we uh, are going to use. It's something we actually brought back from Hawaii. I'm sure you'll probably find it online anywhere. Uh, it was bought at uh, the ABC stores that are all over Hawaii. Uh, it's uh, probably going to butcher that, but I believe it's Ale Salt. It's A-L-A-E-A -A -E -A Salt. And this one is the Brewing Spices. Um, we'd actually ended up getting a set of three of these as a gift for my wife's birthday while we were over there. And uh, this is the first time we're trying this one. Uh, we've had another one, it's uh, Herb Spices. We've tried that, it's actually really good. And then there was another one that came in the kit and I don't remember what it was. It was a lot of, uh, mostly just salt. Um, and we used that early on and that actually made a really good, um, some really good uh, pork chops with that. So what we're gonna do is just kinda put this on, pat it on in like, rub, like a dry rub. Let's see how it goes. So, Normally you would get a pork hock, it would have um, the skin still on it and what you would want to do is score it through just to the meat. You don't actually want to cut the meat at all, you just want to score it to the meat. Um, and you would do it in like a checker pattern, so you would cut it one way and then go the opposite direction. And that would allow your seasonings to get through as well as um it would just allow that skin to render any fat down and out as well as get it to crisp up real nice um but we don't have that option so there's one all salted up and we're gonna just stand it up like that in the pan for now if it'll stand we'll uh, as we get the other ingredients in there we'll get it to stand i'm sure and uh go with this one kind of push that right on into the meat get it to stick uh, if you're having problems getting it to stick these are uh, quite moist oh, I'm finding the salt must have picked up some uh, moisture because it's quite uh, clumpy and stuck together but uh, if you're finding that you're having a hard time getting it to stick you could always spray um, I'm gonna watch what you're doing. Um, some oil on it on the ham hock or uh i guess you could use a mustard on it like with uh if you're didn't want to use an oil and that would just be a nice base to get your seasonings to stick better so there is our second it's really good and we've got a bit bigger tray for this one because we're going to make up some potatoes with that one. We're actually going to stew some potatoes in with it. Um, so what we got is we got some purple onion, the onion cut in half and then cut into nice slices. Um, so half moon type slices. We got some diced up uh, sweet peppers, just uh, a red and an orange is what we had in the house. And then some diced up potatoes and then some sauerkraut. 
So I'm going to start this one off with some sour cream. Move this pan up here, hopefully I don't deform it too badly as I do this. Oh, that's going to dump, or not, because it's quite sticky. Um, let's grab a big set of tongs might work. We're going to move this farther closer here. We're just going to pull a bunch of kraut out of here, sour kraut. Just make a nice base in here with the sauerkraut. That's also going to add the moisture that we want to uh, help keep these ham hocks from drying out while they're roasting. And well, being that we're lacking some, some of the nice fats that we were hoping to have, we're definitely going to need that moisture. So I might actually add some broth to this one as well. All right, so we got the sauerkraut in there. Move that over there. See if we can get this to stand up nicely now in the sauerkraut. Just like that, just kind of pack it around a bit. Might have to just shove that in there. In fact, actually we'll use a potato or two. Just shove it on in there and that'll help hold it. I think. All right. Now we'll add some onions, wrap them around. Just, you know, make a nice little layer, nice even disbursement. And then we'll do some peppers. about do this one all right we'll get that one on the smoker like that and we'll start off with the next one here so we don't have we're not going to do sour coat on this one instead we are going to do some potatoes um i think there's a little trick i saw we're going to grab a little bit of tin foil and uh make a little tin foil stand for this we'll be right back Okay, so we're back. Magic of uh, some editing there. And we've made, just taking a, like a tin foil ball, made a bit of a kickstand for this, for this hawk. And that will help hold it up like that. And then we're gonna take our potatoes and just dump them on in all the way around. These are uh, just a red roasting potato diced fairly large because we want uh, we don't want them to cook too fast as they're gonna be stewing in here the entire time the uh, the um, hawk is cooking and then we'll throw in our onions throw them around a bit just kind of evenly spread them out we'll do the same thing with our peppers Same idea, just kind of toss it on in here. Just like that. And then for our moisture, we're gonna take some beef broth and we're just gonna pour that on in here. This is uh, not canned beef broth from the store. I just mixed up some some dry powder beef broth and uh, and use that there and we'll put a bit of the leftover in here as I don't think that sauerkraut's going to create enough moisture to keep these things from drying out. Okay, so that is it. We got our two our two uh, ham hocks both seasoned the same way, all the same veggies. The only difference is this one's got potatoes going on in it. And this one's got a bit of sauerkraut. We'll throw those on the smoker, cook them at about 350 for three, four hours. And, uh, and then we'll go from there and see what the temperatures are at. And if we want, we'll crank them up. Um, as we're not trying to crisp up it, the skin, because there is none, 
uh, we're not I don't think we're gonna hit that like 450 500 degrees to really try to crisp that up I think we'll probably just end up cooking these flat out 350 and uh, and if we're finding that it's running a little too late for dinner time we might crank them up just to finish them off all right stick around and we'll get these on the smoker hello okay we're uh, we got these on the smoker the smoker is just coming up to temperature now here we got our set for 350 and you'll see right there um, it's currently 345 Fahrenheit uh, again ignore the probe because it's just sitting right there anyway so it's not doing nothing we're uh, running just my usual um, uh, what do you call it, Master Chef hardwood blend pellets, nothing fancy, um, nothing flavored, nothing like that. Let's take a quick look, just show you how they look on the smoker. That's how they're looking. And I dropped the smoker on the camera, that's awesome. Um, but there's uh, the one with the potato kickstand, it looks like it's already falling over, so that's no good. But the, uh, the other one with the tinfoil kickstand, the potatoes and stuff, it's looking pretty good. So these will be on here probably for like four hours cooking at 350 and we'll, we'll check them out later. And uh, let's see how it is. So stick around and uh, we'll do a, a final check on them when they're almost done and, and a quick taste test and, and uh, you know, just final thoughts on that. Okay. Um... We have been cooking these for three and a half, four hours. I don't remember exactly when we threw them on. It's been roughly four hours at this point. Uh, they sat at 350 the entire time. Uh, we got the uh, hawks themselves up to um, 200 degrees, roughly. Uh, you know, they're cooked. Um, the one with the uh, sauerkraut it still kept moisture it's it's still nice and moist you can see this there's still you know fair bit of moisture in here the sauerkraut didn't dry out uh, the onions on top they uh, they crisped up quite well and they're fairly tasty um, both both hawks end up falling over during the cook and so we just left them we didn't bother standing them up the one with the potatoes even though we threw in quite a bit of beef broth it dried out um, not too bad but the potatoes are sticking a bit stuff like that so that probably could have used uh, a bit more broth added part way through the cook keep that moisture going um, so you know that was kind of part of the reason why we took them off at this point was because these were getting way too dry they were gonna just end up burning crisping up too hard stuff like that um, as you can see here, we've already sampled it a little bit, especially the camera person. Uh, she says it's awesome, it tastes great. Uh, it does have a nice salty flavor, as we'd expect with that Alea salt. It also took on a pretty good smoke flavor. Um, and actually, it almost looks like it took on smoke here. It's a bit more red than I would, than I would expect. But it took on some pretty nice smoke. This one tastes very similar to like if you just did uh, a ham with uh, with some potatoes and a crock pot, whatever. It tastes quite good. This one here, let's try this one out with the sauerkraut. See if that actually altered the flavor a bit. You can see it's more moist, um, you know, less dry. This one here is, you know, it's dry, dry, but like the meat's not dry, but it has a lot less moisture still coming out of the meat itself. Let's give this a little try. You just pull it right off. It looks quite good that way. Oh, that is hot though. Let's use a fork. Mm. Again, you can taste the, the salt, the Alea salt, the seasonings that's in that salt. Again, this was uh, uh, grilling spices Alea salt that we used. Um, I don't really taste anything really from the sauerkraut i don't think at this point let's uh try another piece of the from somewhere else on top see if we can get this off here just kind of peel it back a bit yeah come on got a little cut I 
Ah, it's really good. It's moist, tender. The outer part is, uh, it's got a bit of a crisp to it, a bit of a crunch to it. Um, definitely salty, but we were expecting salty. Let's see what we got in here for the vegetables. Um, piece of purple onion, piece of pepper. Very good. Lots of flavor, lots of flavor. Picking up a little bit of hint of the, uh, of the, uh, um, beef broth that we put in there. Try a potato. Nice and tender. Almost has almost like a pan fry type finish to it. It's a little hard on the outside. Um, you know, a bit of a bite, but very tender on the inside. Very delicious. Um, that with this dish, the only thing I think I would have done bit different was either used a taller dish so you can just add more moisture right from the beginning or add some more of that beef broth part way through the cook so it didn't get dry. Um, but very delicious. Uh, some carrots might actually would have went really well in there as well. Let's try the one with the sauerkraut and peppers and onion. The uh, Try to just get some onion and some pepper. That definitely, you can pick up that vinegariness of the of the uh, uh, sauerkraut. Um, I think this was also a wine sauerkraut. It has a little bit of a wine base to it, um, but very good. Let's uh, check the sauerkraut itself. Sauerkraut, delicious. Um, it tastes like it picked up a bit of the salt off the ham itself, off the hawk, um, but still very delicious. It's basically just like a warm sauerkraut at this point, and I love sauerkraut, so I'm gonna have my mouthful of that. This one, I don't think I would have done any differently. It's delicious. Um, it may have, instead of doing the alea salt, did like a, a kosher salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, and onion powder at even uh, amounts as the seasoning. This one here, I wouldn't have seasoned it any different at all, with the exception of adding that bit of moisture partway through the cook so that it didn't get dry. Um, if you like this, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep cooking uh, more... Uh, more pork, some more beef, smoking everything that we can get our hands on. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you.